Hey guys, uh, before the start of this video, I just want to apologize for kind of disappearing on you guys. Um, back in July, I got a second job. Both were part-time. However, I ended up doing 13-hour days two to four times a week. So when I wasn't working, I was usually sleeping. and also tired. Um, it's very draining on me. Uh, however, about a week ago or so, I was forced to resign from one of my jobs the one I had uh, the first job I had so I will be able hopefully be able to make videos again uh, more often I don't think I'll be able to do uh, videos once a week like I was trying to do however I do believe one or two a month maybe um, I am also thinking of trying to go full-time at the job I have now um, but I just want to let you guys know what happened to me. I'm not dead, unfortunately. <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not going to let Hillary get me. She, she found me. Fuck. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know where I was. Uh, hopefully I can start... Editing videos again. I mean, I couldn't even edit videos. I was so fucking tired. Um, hopefully this, this changes it all. I have three videos I still need to edit. And one kind of small, kind of cooking video to film. Uh, but filming and editing that one should be um, maybe an hour or two. Because it's going to be really simple. It's not going to be a, a, an actual cooking video. Um... But I was inspired by another YouTuber, and I'll mention that in that video. Again, so I apologize for being gone. I'm back, sort of, kind of, not really, kind of. Um, so enjoy this video. Welcome to Pew Pew Park. Hey guys, welcome to Pew Pew Park. I'm Psycho316, and I finally got back out here to give these Brownell... GI mags a shot, see how they they work. See if I get any failure feeds or anything like that. Just using the typical Federal 223 that I usually use. So uh a target out there. We're gonna just check, see how it works. I have my other camera with a telescopic lens on it. So let's give this a shot. And there was my target. I gotta go reset it. All right, we're back. We got reset. Uh, I guess the legs came off. The little uh, piece that holds the legs separate from each other kind of came off when I moved the uh, sawhorse back from where I had it for shotguns to where I have it for this video. So it's set up to hopefully. It's uh, good to go. Set this back up and uh, continue. Start with the uh, lettuce again.
Well, I can't hit the lettuce, but I can hit the steel uh, gong there, a little steel target, steel plate. So that's good. And that's it. Check on safe. Well, first mag worked pretty well. Let's try this one. And it fell again. Huh. I'm guessing uh, every time I hit it, rocks back and forth and it kind of loosens up the little thing, which kind of sucks. Before I go over there, I'm going to see if I can hit the, uh, the little clay on that box. works pretty well. All right, one more time. Mag. Boom. And it falls again. Well, the magazines are reliable, but apparently the collapsible uh, sawhorse I bought that I used to hold the steel, that's not so much. Keeps falling down, oh well. Uh, huh, yeah. I think it's a pretty good indicator on these mags. So, uh, guess that's it for today. My, uh, my verdict on these uh, Brownell GI style mags, I didn't get any failure feeds or any jam ups. So I'd say these are pretty good to go. I'm gonna finish this mag out and I'll see you guys in the next video.